Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the steps in adding an unknown control point in an N2 system. If you were to uh, have a resource file for adding a control point, you would be able to use it. But if you do not, there is still a way that you can get the information that you would need. You can see here that uh, all of these control points are kind of unique. Uh, they're a little bit different, but it is not difficult to add one of these. An N2 system is not like a BACnet system where you can discover those points. But uh, what you will need to do is open the program, in, uh, in this case HVAC Pro, and what you will want to do, the, the point that we want to add here is the unoccupied cooling set point. And what you want to do is to go to the file section and you want to make sure that you are uh, on your options for the printing, you want to make sure that you would print this as the long form. You can either print this as a hard copy of the file or you can just print it to uh, you know your computer, which is what I'm going to do here. And once I print this to my computer, I can see all of the configuration points. I can see a lot of the information that I'm needing to add this point in. You can see that each of the software points have a unique uh, identifier number. You can see that here in uh, these here. You know, we have binary data, we have uh, analog data, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing here. And if I just scroll on down and I can find the particular point that I want, and this right here is what I need this ADF 131. That is going to be my unoccupied cooling set point. I need to remember the type, the data type that is, the ADF, as well as the particular number. Now when I go back to insert my field point, all I have to do is select insert field point. I then go into my screen here and I want to make sure that uh, if this is something I want to be able to adjust, I want to make sure that I select it as an AO. Okay, since this is an analog point that I want to be able to write to, it must be selected as an AO. If you select it as an AI, you will not be able to write to it. You will only be able to see the value that's in it. So once I select AO, I'm brought to this next window here, and this is where I will select the type of data point. It's an ADF, and then of course the 131 is the particular data point that I'm looking for for this controller. So I select the 131, I press next. I'm going to simply give this a name. We're going to be calling it the unoccupied cooling set point. And I'm just going to quick name here. Once I get that named, I simply press next. And then this is my configuration screen to where I can set the status text, min, max value, that sort of thing. Press finish and I'm not going to add any trends or anything and after just a brief moment the point should be pulled into your system. It'll take a minute for the offline to clear and once it does this is my data point. Anyways guys thanks for watching the video. Be sure to leave any questions in the comments down below. <laughs>